Dog Pro returneth. <coughs> Come here, I found the camera mount. Dog's not been so well past couple of weeks. <coughs> Obviously she's putting on a show now for the camera. But in about 10 minutes time, she'll remember how knackered her legs are and go and sit down for a bit, hopefully. But for now, I think she just wants some food. Yeah. I come home from Croft when we were racing the other weekend and she, oh God, you know, you know what it's like with old dogs. You know, you never really know, do you? So we're going to make the most of now, aren't we? Yes. All right. I'll give you some food in a second. Today's video, we're going to be looking at improving the EG, or we're going to be looking at changing the EG suspension on us ahead of the next race, which is at Brands Hatch. We've got four weeks, I think, no? Today is the 23rd, yeah, we've got four weeks, right, until Brands Hatch. And I've booked the test day as well, it's MR2 and Civic again, unfortunately, but that's the way she goes. It's going to be a busy weekend, so I'm going to take the EG down test it on Friday. I think it's EG on Saturday and then MR2 on Sunday, so at least they're not on the same day this time, but yeah, it's going to be a busy weekend. So anyway, I want to change the Civic suspension S. I want to make it softer on the front, and I might be able to do that for free. I might have the parts in stock in the other vehicles, but we need to uh, just double check a few things, see if that's going to be suitable or not. We're also going to change the front camber arms. At the minute we have Skunk 2, which is the same as over here, but we're going to change them to Hadris, which is what Josh and uh, Joe Rohn is what I used to have on the Civic back in the day, and the Integra, sorry, back in the day. It's this kind of style, and basically, yeah, you just get way more camber with this. So we're maxed out at three and a half here, but we want more than four, please. So we're going to fit these, basically what we're going to do is, we're going to whack these on, set the camber to the max and see what it reads as. Hopefully it's about four and a half and then we can either test it as is or maybe wind it back a little bit. All right, we've got some brand new 205 tyres, we've still got a 225 as well. So we've got a bit of an option on tyres. Obviously it's just as it finished the race the car, I've not touched it since Donington, it's just as it finished the race. I only took it off the trailer the other day to Load the MR2 up. MR2 successful yesterday. You'll have probably already seen that video. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know what kind of order I'm going to release. Been a lot of racing. I've raced every weekend in April, right? Ooh, mad things. It's a mad things, isn't it? Yeah? Mad things, bruv. Yeah. But today, anyway, Civic teardown. So, let's get it on the ramp. Um, yeah, there's, there's two major changes. Make the front softer and add more camber, right? We're not going to try and reinvent the wheel. I'm not going to rush to change the brakes either, although Dixel are going to send us some slightly different pads to try. More of a, a racing pad. We've got like the track day pad in at the minute and I just didn't think it could take the heat, right? I think it's going to be too hot. I don't have any brake cooling either, air guides or cool or ducts or anything. I don't have any of that. So yeah, I mean, I, I think the easiest win is just going to be to change the brake pads in it. So yeah, Dixel are going to send us out some type RA, which is what the first Dixel I ever ran in the M3 about five years ago. So that's, that's fun. But yeah, anyway, I need to switch the car around, and then we'll get it up in the air and uh, take the coilovers off. I'll have a quick clean of my bench. I might take the rear coilovers off as well, just have a look. Currently, the spring rate is 18 kilograms uh, per millimeter front, 16 rear, which is pretty stiff. Yeah, it's pretty stiff, but it's too stiff on the front. So my initial idea was to just swap the springs around, and we might still do that. We might still do that. But then I remembered. I bought a 800 pound rear spring for the M3, which is about just over 14 kilos, which if I put that in the front, then that should make a nice difference. And then we'd not have to piss about with the rear, you know. The less pissing about we have to do is always gonna be preferential, isn't it, Dog Pro? Yeah, she's remembered now, oh shit, yeah, fuck it out, I am old and fucked, aren't I? I best chill out for a bit, that's what she's thinking. Right, anyway, we've got the Brick Pop play. I've got Shines. Does anyone know Shine CDs? I've got them on, right, on a playlist. So, right, I'll get this spun around and we'll get it in the air. Oh, I'm going to put my head cam on as well. May as well have a long one, eh? We should really get a better spare radiator, shouldn't we? But if it holds, if it holds, it holds. Right, can you, um, come here. Who the fuck has locked my car? What? Look at my thumb. So I was playing with a dog last night when I got back 
from Alton and playing with one of the hard chewy toy things and basically she bit through my nail and she caught my thumb and she cut the nail and it was bleeding and she cut the skin at the back and it was bleeding bleeding from both ends it was pretty gnarly obviously she didn't mean to do it but go and sit in there for five I know it stinks but go on sit down I was hoping to get a three inch exhaust on as well in time for brands but I don't know if that's going to be possible and I don't think it is really required for brands not exactly a power track is it She seems happy to be up here though. No, at least someone for me. Okay, let's start strippings. So, I think if we, if we leave the anti roll bar connected and everything else, this shouldn't droop that much when we take the shocker off. But it's been a while, so first thing we're gonna do is take that 14 out. I haven't deconstructed a Honda for a while, but I think we'll be all right. Well, it didn't just fall, so good start. Hopefully it doesn't just drop, but... Might do. Jackie Tran's out of action. Ooh. Okay, maybe we try and fix Jackie Tran because he might need to help us on this one. post Sunday's video it's half past ten everyone will be awake I know you've been awake for hours don't worry about it but other people like to lay in on a Sunday save it's an old wheel bolt but it might work One in doubt, snap it off. 4.8 bro, it's not good enough. Gonna click it. Uh, pass. 
must have stretched as well. That one's all right. It's just you, mate. Oh, Jackie, you came and you went without saying. And I need you today, oh, Jackie. That cast is fucked, but hey, live to fight another day. Live to fight another day. Jackie feeling strong, up to a challenge. We need to jack up on something strong like that subframe. Oh, precision. Yes, Jackie. Don't you fucking bust or else we're all fucking dead. If that caster goes. <laughs> okay. Well done, he passed the first test. That's sketched though, isn't it? The caster on that. Massive washers. They stuck. Okay. Good news, boys! Those springs are super short, which means my uh, free springs are on the M3 will fit. I thought these should be 180s or even not 200s, but they're 140s. That's crazy short. That might explain some of the handling. Wow. All right, quick update on where things are. So both front coilovers are off the car and we've hit a stroke of luck but also it's, it's kind of opened up a few more questions so these springs are normally between 180 and 200 mil long right 18 to 20 centimeters these ones are 140 mil which seems super short the MR2 for example has I think 200 at the back and, and 180 at the front and I think the BCs that are on this are all 180. Yeah, anyway, long story short, these are short. Long story short, these are shorter than I thought. Now, that could be part of the problem. So what do these numbers mean? 62 is the diameter of the spring, 62 millimeters. 140 is the length and 18 is the spring rate, 18 kilograms per millimeter, right? What does that mean? Well, that means every 18 kilograms of force on this spring will contract it one millimeter, right? Do we need to whiteboard? Right, this is a hypothesis, right? This might be total bollocks, right? I don't know, but this is how I'm thinking it works, right? We've got an 18 kg spring. So that means it takes 18 kilograms of force to move the spring, to contract the spring one millimeter, right? And say if the front left corner, which this has just come off of, Steering wheel there, wheel, wheel, wheel. Say if this front left is 300 kg of what I can't remember what it was, but let's just say it's 300 to make the maths easy, right? And say if I'm cornering hard as fuck and generating two Gs, is that gonna, it's not gonna double, is it? Because the car's generating it on all, on all four, but say if, right, let's just, let's just be silly and say, right, when I'm cornering hard, there's 600 kilos of force on that. There's not, is there? There's not nowhere near, but let's just, Let's just all figure it out together because, you know, I know there's a lot of people 
like me out there, which I'm going to fucking clue either. So, if that's going down 600 kilograms, and that goes 18 kilograms per millimeter, right? 18 into 600 is 33, says the calculator, right? So that means that this spring needs to contract 33 millimeters out of that 140 before binding. It's got loads of room on it to do that. So the fear is with shorter springs, there's not enough room for it to contract enough before binding. And that's with an extreme example. I mean, maybe I'm wrong here, but I don't think, I think 600 kilos on one wheel seems, seems a bit crazy, right? I don't think that's gonna happen on our car. Maybe it will, but even if we double that and go to 1200, right? Say if we put one point, more than the car weighs in total on one corner, then we'd only have, what? 66 mil there's still there's still plenty of room there's still 66 mils worth of contracting space budget in there isn't there yeah no problem so it is therefore my theory that these springs although short will be near bowler probably with a higher spring rate maybe if it was like a, a six kilogram spring or something like that you'd need obviously three times the space but we don't because we're on a short spring but anyway what we're going to do is we're going to fit these springs now these are ones that I bought for the back of the M3, they're 800 pound, which I think is about 14 and a bit kilograms, so I've got it 14 and a half, just, just for the fucking argument's sake. So that's a big drop from 18, right? A big drop from 18, and we're going to carry on the 16s on the rear. It's rare to have a higher spring rate on the rear than the front, but all I want to do is soften the front. If we can get away without touching the rear, which we're going to do, we're going to leave it, right? We might get some helper springs. We might get some helper springs, just because of... That's not nice, is it? They're only 140s as well. See, if the spring was longer, then... You know, you could have more droop as well. I don't, I don't like that. I think, I think we will probably get some, some helperinos in there. But yeah, that's a 140 spring too. Anyway, so I'm on with the M3 now. I'm just going to find the other rear springs. I think I've found them. I think it's these ones. These are 12 kilo springs, obviously we can't, um, well, we probably could fit them in there, but it would be a bit too wide on the old, uh, you know, on the other items. That's why coilover springs are a bit skinny, whereas these are, uh, I think these are anything more comfortable, I don't know, because of the wideness. I don't know, I don't know, but yeah, these are going onto the black M3 now, and then we'll strip them down and put these bad boys in. Science. Right, it's time to swap the springs on these coilovers. Should be super simple. No tension. Oh. That is spinning. You see the, the full shocker spinning. I'll try and turbo it off, but. Okay, no problemas. So these springs aren't perfect because these are uh, imperial measurements. So they're two and a half inch thick, whereas they're 62 mil, I think this is Two and a half inches, like 63 or 64, so slightly thicker spring. Uh, 140 long, these are six inches, which is obviously 150 mil, so not too bad. 18 newton meters, which is a very Taiwanese way of expressing, uh, these are pounds, uh, pounds per inch, I think. So let's try and keep all this together, what we got. Washer, top mount, oh, super simple. So yeah, look, the springs are only just taller. Can you see? Oh, look, we've got some engravings there. 6P800, I guess that means six inch long, 800 pounds. So we'll just give this a little clean up since we're in here. I 
gonna get luckier on this one. Oh. Aha, we did. Come back, you bastards. It shouldn't be as bad for coming loose as what they did on the MR2. I mean, we, we got around that eventually by being a bit savage staking them in, but with it being dual wishbone, the coilover only goes up and down. It doesn't turn like it would on a McPherson. So all of this coming loose stuff shouldn't really be happening. Right, job jobbed. Just the camber arms to check now. So it might be that we use these camber arms, but we might change the bushes for the ones that are on the car. Megan Racing. I thought these were hard race. Ball joint's not clever on that. I mean, it's, it's just up and down. Hmm. Hmm. Right, run to uh, camber arms. Yeah, once camber arms. So, what I've decided to do is to just try these and see. This ball joint is it's not loose in the wrong way. We'll see if we can feel a knock with it on, but I spoke to Chris, the old owner of the car, and he said these were on it when he bought it, right? So they kind of look like hard race, but they're not, obviously. Now, hard race on my Integra, they used to hit the strut top. That was a problem with them. That's why I moved to Skunk 2. But with Skunk 2, you don't get as much camber, and we want the camber. So anyway, all I've done is I've maxed these off. This is the right-hand one, and I've swapped the bushes from the Skunk 2 to this, because this has just got factory bushes in it at the minute, look. Which feel all right, but these have got some fancy nylock, nylon or something, I don't know. Got some fancy bushes in it, so we're just going to swap them over. I thought I'd do this one with you to show you what I'm doing. Oh, didn't mean to take that all the way out. So we'll just max it off and we'll see what it reads as. As for torque on these, I couldn't find a torque spec. And this is only a, a lightweight gun anyway, so I think it'll be all right. The theory is, if that gun can take them off, then that gun can put them on because that should mean that the torque's not like great. Yeah, these bushes are like some solid, I don't know. Apparently that's the noise that I've been hearing as well. It's been these uh, these bushes all the time. So we've got softer springs, remember, but they're longer, so the ride height might end up evening out. Hopefully, that would save some pain. Looks like we've got some towing on the go, so I would say that this has become shorter. No, can't have done. Longer. Hmm. Let's get the tables out and see what it looks like. 
Alright, I'm just about to lower it down and see how the ride height be. Say goodbye to this as well. Oh, I'm done. Alright. Doesn't look like much more camber though. If only I had some kind of device to measure it. Doesn't look that different, does it? And it was three and a half before, so it's already a lot, but looks a bit more on this side. Definitely looks about where it should be here, but certainly on the driver's side, maybe it's just uh, an optical illusion. Let's measure it and see. Okay. Is this safe enough for you? Where's your IVs? Huh? No IVs on today. No authority. I think you're right because you've got a body cam. Huh? Right, let's measure the cameras. Remember which way it should be. Come on, guy, please. Are you fucked? Right, that was three before, now you're saying two and a half. Can you see why I might have trust issues? Let's try the uh, OG Shitmaster 5000. Three point seven. What the fuck are you on about? This is why you need good tools, right? Oh, there we go. It's popped out the bottom. Okay, you're on flat, you're on flat. 3.1, right, so that's about what it was before. Fucking stay on, cunt. I've had to cut this bit down quite a lot because I was struggling for ages on these front camber arms. And I started sulking quite a lot and it's, uh, it's not made the best content, but I'm going to start explaining what I'm trying to do now so they've got those four bolts going through right one two three four and i've got the back two in but it must still have been misaligned slightly and i can't get this one in now so I'm just gonna try and get on the back ones just to try and undo them slightly but now the the front bolts are in the way what a terrible design Totally normal stuff. Need some of those uh, sockets that you can put taps into. That'd save some time. It's gone through though, so right, there's a few tight spots, so hopefully that's got it. Feels alright now. Right, we're a little bit further on <laughs> time wise since we last spoke. Was, uh, we're starting to get a little bit. Um, moody. I'm tired though, you know, we've had a couple of days, haven't we? Yeah. Anyway, right, I've got to a happy point now. So the numbers are the same, technically, kind of. Ignore the, the scattered numbers, but uh, we've got roughly three degrees on the back and roughly four degrees on the front. I ended up zeroing both my gauges on that and they still were a bit off, so I think maybe just need some better instruments. Yeah, I think we just need some better measuring devices, perhaps, but anyway, it's roughly okay, and the tables are perhaps not exactly level either. This floor is, is really bad. Um, well, really bad. It's a concrete floor, and it was never supposed to be level. It was just kind of supposed to be a floor, so... Uh, Ed's got a laser level and I could go and get it and, and have a look but do I really want to put myself through that when it's almost dinner time? Hmm? It's something to do with the toe, something to set the toe up so we'll have to get the bars out. We're going to do that before we leave today just so the car's something right. But let's, let's, let's put ourselves through some torture, I know you're tired. Let's put ourselves through some torture and get that laser level and see just how skewy the uh, tables are. Yeah, go on then. Alright, what were we just saying about measuring devices? You know? 
having to rely on them and being accurate. This thing fell off when I moved the ramp because the magnet's not right strong. So I put it back on and now it's hazy, it's level and I've made no changes. No changes, unless it's just because the car's not on it anymore. No. What? I, I don't trust you. What I'm trying to say is I don't trust you. It's not good, this. Just having a bad time. Just fucking stick, mate. Stop being twat. What the fuck are you? You're fucking, you're out, right? Ed, appreciate you lending me that, mate, but what a sack of shit. I'll just buy a Dewalt one. What a heap. Right, I mentioned this before, but getting a string kit on the EG is a pain in the ass. And I've just hit a point of fuck it. So, I figured we can do a better job of this. We should corner weight the car and we should get some helper springs for the rear. Yeah, and then we can tick the coilovers, we can tick the suspension off and, you know, we'll have no more questions about anything. But we're going to leave the car as it is for now. You can stay there. We've still got four weeks until the race. I'll pick this up maybe one night in the week and we'll do the corner waiting and change the helper springs and we'll have a good time, right? We've made some good progress today, though. Haven't we, Inspector? Inspector's tired, AF, aren't you? Yeah, so we've sorted out the cambers and we've changed that spring <laughs> and we've done that in uh, seven hours I mean, it's been steady away, hasn't it? Steady away, Captain Oh shit Steady, we fixed uh, Jackie Tram, that's the biggest win of today But yeah, I'll get those parts and have a little tidy up, I'll get those parts and I'll see you one night in the week, alright? Alright then It's a few days later Got some goodies It's got a bit of a plan as well, we've got some things to do this will be the last uh, chapter of this, we're going to get all done tonight. So, the other day when we changed these camber arms, I mean it was minutes ago, if not seconds ago for you, right? But in the real world, that was five days ago, because I've been a bit busy and that, you know. Basically what we did is we, we fitted some new caster arms, right? Uh, camber arms, but leading on to the big C word, caster. So what Chris had done with the old ones was, put them left to right and right to left and apparently this is a common thing what people do to gain the casters and of course I fitted them where they should be so we're going to take it back up, swap the camber arms, measure the camber again see just how messed up that is and then we've got something for the rear a present a present for the rear yeah bright springies back Come with plastic uh, seats though, it's a bit strange, but yeah, we've got some uh, helper springs. These are, if you saw my EP3 video, you know, I fitted some on the EP3. These are substantially bigger and, and more springy. They've got um, the actual the actual spring rate's nothing. Like I can I can just about compress it myself, um, but yeah, I think there's going to be an increase of about 10 mil in ride height, so we'll. We'll play about with the uh, spring a bit. In fact, should we should we do a full science while we're here? We should do we should do a full science, shouldn't we? Can that go straight up? So let's measure the droop. I'll put a head cam on. So yeah, this um, the bar's falling off at the end of chapter one. Let's call it blessing in disguise in the end, because we'd have just wasted our time anyway. And I went home and. Uh, probably just edited some videos for you in reality but maybe we can pretend I did some fun stuff so we go with these lightweight boys today oh hang on before I wear these gloves let me just read the uh... come on guys what the fuck why is that some EU stuff is it well you know Brexit this is the biggest size they do as well and they're not even come on guys Right, let's do some science. Sciencings. So, we're just chilling now. Is that off all the way? I think it is. Yep. So, our rear ride height is pretty much bang on 33, 330. What did we measure it as before? 3340. 
This seems to be lower here. Why is the ride height changed? We did change the camber on this, didn't we? Could that be it, really? Shouldn't affect ride height. Mm hmm So can we get more by fitting the helper spring? Well, maybe not, but we'll be doing it safer. We'll do that first and we'll come back to the camber arms, caster arms. Is that radio loud enough? Can you hear it? This used to be one of my favourite songs ever. Probably still is, I guess. What game was it on? <laughs> what game was it on? There's your question. What game was this song on? So remember... Oh, I might get away with not actually changing the ride. Oh, well, the ride height will be increased anyway, because that will be taken up by spring. Yeah, you see? Well, let's get this off and have a look. Regret that later, but we'll see. <sighs> Thunder bra. Right, the coilovers are mostly nice and clean. I did mean to leave one somewhat constructed so that we could uh, do a compare. And I haven't done that. So just for shits and giggles, just put that back on. Help spring top or help spring bottom? I think I'll go top on this one. Where's that not fit? Ah, it's because it's uh, metric versus imperial. Two and a half inch versus uh, 62 mil. Two, two mil too big. But being a spring, it might. Come on, spring. Be better on the bottom. I could have just bought HSD ones, but no. This is where you need a laugh. A laugh. To, uh... I mean, you could just fucking run without that, but it's pretty ghetto. Look at it's only plastic, so. We might be increasing rear traction here, which might be uh, counterintuitive to our aims. You thick cunt. I accidentally put 18 kilo springs in that. <laughs> Hello. Scheiser.
Right, this is where we're at, two hours or so after we last spoke. So we've got helper springs now. Rear shock springs, all nice. Nice and together, it's not tight yet. yet. Nothing's tight here yet because we're gonna be setting, uh, we're gonna do a bit of corner weighting, aren't we? Yeah, why not? Got the fast eddies out. These ones haven't got wheels on, so the, the base is nice and flat, so. Still got the tow bars, you know. Bought these bloody tow bars. Bought these things and just never used them. Because it required effort. You know what effort is? Effort's difficult, isn't it? But now Ed's going to come and have a go at setting up. He was going to have a go at using his laser level. Hopefully get the tables a bit more something like. And then we can have more confidence in what this setup will be. I'm going to go find some bags of sand now to try and simulate 105 kilos-ish of what I am. I should be, we could do it as 100 because I'm trying to get down to 90 and be about 100 with my kit on and stuff. So yeah, I'll go do that while he's laser levelings. But yeah, we'll, we'll do the corner weight in and then we'll call it. I th I'm pretty sure I actually got him something like, but the magnet's not great, which doesn't help. You not really try for uh, your tripod's there, yeah, but I don't think about the, the screw for it. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, no, I've not got the attachment. <laughs> so, 948, we need that to be 1053 or thereabouts. Got all these bags that we use to tie the gazebo's down that you see me using all so often. Uh, I'm gonna stay. Oi. Basically, exactly what we needed. 65% of the car's weight is on the front wheels. Wow. The right hand side is a lot heavier than the left, fair enough. Cross weight's actually not too bad, okay. So the left rear was always gonna be the lightest and the front right was always gonna be the heaviest. Yeah, I guess we try and put some weight on the rear, rear left to get that 50-50, but it's not far off. I mean, at the minute, the most of the weight is on the front left. That's probably fine. That's probably fine just to leave. Do some ride height measurements. It's one, that's no good for me. Four one. So what I should have done here is just left everything alone, set the toe up and got out of there. But once the scales are out, I can't help but start fiddling. And I started playing with the ballast, moving it around. I started playing with ride heights. Just got myself tangled up as per usual, just wasting the clock away. Well, I ended up uh, increasing the ride height front left and rear left. So we've kind of met somewhere in the middle. Cross weight wise, we're, we're heavier on the, uh, on the front left, but that's where we want to be. But yeah, this is all gone to absolute shit now, so I don't trust what this says. It's got a low battery, and has therefore decided the car weighs like 700 kilos or something. <laughs> don't know how that works, but yeah, new battery needed for that. It's the first time I've had to change the batteries in that trusty thing. Um, I'm wondering if moving the ballast is <sighs> worth the effort or not. Maybe, maybe I'll not rush into uh yeah maybe i'll just have a little think about it because it's it's not really flat the floor here i know it's not exactly flat under there either but it's pretty wobbly i guess as long as i can get the bolts in and uh, with the ballast all it has to be under the regulations is securely mounted you know i don't say where or anything like that obviously you want it between the wheels if you can so where it was was perhaps the best place for it but but yeah, my gopro's died it's getting late now so I'll see you in chapter three.
All right, we're a few days in the future. We're a week actually in the future, I think. I got some Duracells. Got the Duracells look. Um, you might notice the MR2 is on the trailer still. Yes, it needs to come off today. This needs to go on the trailer and it needs to go home with me tonight. It's quite late already, it's 20 past seven. Uh, we need to get the, oop. We need to get the corner weighting done. We need to do the alignment because it's going on the dyno tomorrow and then it's getting a new three inch exhaust. Yeah, yeah, that'll be a separate video. So we've got a lot of work to do. It's still a school night. We're gonna sack. We're not gonna worry about mounting the, um, Ballast. We'll, we'll figure out where we want it and do the corner weights and then Apparently there's somewhere for us to mount that in the boot already. We got way too carried away the other day Way too carried away. I don't know what the fuck. I can't resist fucking about when these scales are out. It's a problem It's a medical condition Okay, Beata as are in Okay, having a good time. So I can't even remember where we got to but I need to do the corner weighting Set the alignment so it's not going all over the shop, at least on the front. Yeah, we basically need to not fuck about tonight. Not get distracted, not fuck about, right? That's the, that's the key goals. Get the MR2 off, put it somewhere, take all that rabble with us tomorrow. A uh, different video, but yeah, let's just get this one squared off. Hey, look at this, a uh, weird device. Hold the bonnet up. Crazy. Just went to steal the exhaust manifold gasket. And one, it's not got one. But two, the parts are open and just chilling. Not the worst thing in the world, but. For a gasket. No, not a seat rail which you can mount backwards. How's the tidy workspace going here? Yeah, it's getting less tidy. Right. You heavy bastard. So the minute's 40 kilo left to right. I think we should put that ballast back where it OG was and just play with the dampers, the ride height to get the 50-50 cross weight and just fucking leave it. I'm not playing about with this forever, I can't be asked. That's not a bad place for it really. It's kind of, kind of acting the driver's weight a little bit. Problem with it having it here is it's gonna be behind the shock absorber, behind the wheels. You, you wanna keep the weight inside the wheels really, so. I think it will be best. Bear in mind that I think we might have to put some more in anyway. Once we put the three inch exhaust in. Some gravity in that, but I think this one, this one was in already after the race. What it'll do. Basically the same thing. I've just made a just made a very bad mistake. So that's locked in. And um, the ramp legs in the middle of the car. Oh yeah, that's good. Right on the fuel lines. Yeah, that's nice. I'd take it up. I can't take it up, can I? Because then it'll crush the fuel lines. Oh, Oh, I hear you. Oh, it's alright, it's not damaged him. It's on the floor. Is it loose? It's on a... you're fine. Ah. I have to move it out there. Ah, go on then. Where do you want it for you? Is this it? Uh, it should be on that pinch. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, that. Yeah, don't worry about it, bro. But Jesus, don't worry about all the wires, you're yeah, just fucking crystal mazing it down there, yeah? 
I just did a talk into camera piece and then realized the camera wasn't going, but camber's good. Four and a half on the front, four on the rear. By today's measurement, that's what it's saying today, we know that gauge ain't accurate, right? So that's about what I want anyway. Half a degree split front to rear and I wanted at least four on the front. So I'm happy just to send it on that. This car now, unfortunately, has the reputation for being the most fiddly bastard to get this down. I'm going to have to figure something out here, because look, look at this. Balancing between an E46 indicator lens, a bit of wood, and that, and you know, it's, it's all right, you know, it's, it's, it's balanced just about, and it's, uh, it's about where it wants to be. It's not perfect, but fucking hell, some chew on. Just turned nine o'clock. I'm not asked. I just want to, you know, get out of here. But I can't even find the ruler at the moment. Is there any in the... Yes. There's some here in the box. 76, so 76 front, 80 rear. Does that make sense? Maybe. Okay, so we have minus 4.5 of camber, which is maybe a wee bit. Ouch. I didn't disconnect the roll bars when doing the corner waiting. I know you've told me about that before, but don't don't really make sense to me. So the roll bar is a spring, and I want all the springs holding the car down, right? I mean, there should be no lower than it anyway. Uh, we need to make you bigger, don't we? Perfect. I'm onto the last corner, but because these arms aren't adjustable where they should be, it's been a bit of a twat. Uh, a lot of a twat, really. So what I'm having to do, I'll show you. What I'm having to do is fiddle. So you'll recognize this guy here, right? Hmm. Jack Handle, he's called. So the minute we've got too much toe in, what we do normally is adjust two lock nuts there and something would contract or expand this bar. This is solid with spherical bushes. Okay, that's kind of nice, but it just makes adjusting it a cunt. I'm just gonna slacken this off now and it should naturally, yeah, there we go. See it jump back? So I'll measure that, but chances are I'm gonna have to get my mate in here and wiggle it about a bit. Which being solo is a little bit difficult. So it's somewhere in between where we just were and where we've gone to. And we have the accuracy of, well, I'll show you. So I'm just gonna load it up. Slacking it off. Right, and then we need to move it in a little bit. Oh there. Is this the measurement that we wanted? I don't think it is. Oh it is, it is. So we've got zero toe on the rear now. Oh there we've got we've still got half a mil, we've still got a mil of toe out on the front, but we've got no toe at the rear, so could be spicy. So MR2 off trailer, Civic on trailer, go home. Right, finally at the end of this one. So, EG suspension overhaul. Overhaul, not quite. We've made some changes. The ride height, the increased ride height on the left's pretty noticeable, I'm sure. HCR, I'll have a thing or two to say about that, but science, yeah. You'd have thought, wouldn't you, raising the heavier side would be what you want to do, but. Apparently not, 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 that's not what the science say. The science will disagree with you. Hmm. So, we'll see how she gets on, eh? Um, so the next video for you will probably be a racing video, maybe. I don't know where I am with this, but tomorrow I'm gonna be doing videos at Darkside 
having a baseline dyno session get a rough idea of where it is on their dyno because obviously dynos are all over the shop everywhere and stuff like that and then a three inch exhaust and we're going to put the Joe Bauer tune on it I think Josh is going to come down and help me and then we'll see if we can get any more mid-range ponies to help us out the corner exit those EP3s were dicking us on the corner exit weren't they yeah so let's hopefully find some mid-range and hopefully these suspension changes we're running more camber now softer front springs helper springs in the rear hopefully all that and a different alignment we've got no toe at the back anymore parallel in the back and a little bit of toe out at the front hopefully this all comes together i'm not going to have a chance to test it before but we're doing a test day at brands but i'm going to have a chance to test it before then so i guess we'll see how we get on chaps so thanks for watching thank the patreons i'll see you in a future video